phobias are very common types of anxiety disorders. Um, and you know, you can be phobic of, of almost anything. Be phobic of, of animals, of heights, of situations. Um, a quite common phobia is agoraphobia. It comes from the Greek word agora, which means um, marketplace. So it's fear of basically being in open spaces, being around people. So fear of basically anything but being by yourself in your own safe space. Now that raises a dilemma. If I only feel safe in my own home, then how do I get help? Well, the great thing is, is that your GP, there's, I should be able to advise you, there's volunteer organizations that can advise you, websites like this to give you information about what to do. There's a lot of GPs who are able to organize psychologists or counselors to initially come home to you, or that can organize a family or someone you feel safe with to be able to, to escort you to a session. Um, increasingly people are recognizing that if you if you engage with agoraphobia early on you're able to treat it very well in fact even if you've been agoraphobic for years it's something that you absolutely can tackle for example if someone was claustrophobic through cbt the first thing that we would do is look at what thoughts are, 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 are feeding that phobia? Is it a fear of closed spaces? Is it a fear of not getting out into open spaces? Is it a fear of being too close to other people? So you really get down to the, to the nitty gritty of, of why you're claustrophobic, for example. Then you would look at how valid those thoughts are. Will being in a closed space actually kill me? Will it be? What is the worst possible thing that can happen? I'm stuck in an elevator. Most elevators have ventilation. I think it's, it's a legal requirement. What is the worst possible thing? Can I actually die of being in a small place? Probably not. Will it be uncomfortable? Probably yes. But what can I do to help? Well, there's an abundance of things I can do. I can try and get out. I can distract myself. I can um, speak to other people if they're there. I can, you know, and you, you list the things. And you kind of start by then doing what most psychologists call a systematic desensitization. And if you think about it, you approach a phobia like you would on, on a ladder. So if I'm afraid of, of closed spaces, well, perhaps the first thing I do is I sit in the therapy session and I sit far away from the door. It's not being able to get out. And then as I get comfortable with that and I'm able to regulate my breathing and my fear, I may close the door. And once that feels comfortable and I feel that I can deal with the negative thoughts and I feel I can challenge the anxiety, then maybe we move to a smaller room. And I say I feel comfortable with that. Eventually we move to the situation where I'm in, on my own in an elevator and I'm able to press the stop button. I realize, do you know what? My biggest fear was fear itself. In actual fact, this can't harm me.